Good morning. It's raining. <laughs> but look at that. Look at it. The sun reflecting in the sea. Five to six. So six o'clock. I'm having a piss, mate. Don't look. <laughs> Six o'clock. I'm all but packed away. I've just got to pack the tent away. And then we're gonna set off on the hardest day of the Sky Trail. A real leg pumper of a day, but I feel fresh. Had a good night's sleep. Leave no trace. I say leave no trace is a huge wall there. Right. There we have it. Not bad. Not a bad little layover. Whoa. I'll see if I can pick up the path. In fact, all along here, there is no path, pretty much. For the vast majority of it, you've just got to make your way through this gear. That's why it's tough walking and it's not advised. And that's why I didn't, one of the reasons why I didn't do it the other week, because if the visibility goes down to pretty much zero and you're just meandering around down here, with these huge drops off the end of the cliff, it's just not safe and, and irresponsible. I mean, look at this, look. Look how close this path comes to this edge. Oh, and it's so steep and in oh, madness, mate. <laughs> Tottenish Ridge. The whole of the Tottenish Ridge escarpment was formed by a great series of landslips. The dramatic Kurang, which is the largest landslip in Britain, with five stages of movement identified, extends to a width of two kilometres from the scarp slope to the coast. Some sections of the landslide are still active, as evidenced by the need for regular repairs to the local road. The geology of the Tottenish Peninsula consists of Jurassic sediments, clays, shales and sandstones, overlaid by thick lava flows. The rocks dip gently westwards, creating gentle rising slopes from the west to the east. However, these are cut by faults running north-south along the peninsula. The landslides were formed due to the overlaying weights of the lava flows approximately 300 metres thick, weighing down on the weaker Jurassic sedimentary rock. Under the pressure, the Jurassic rocks sheared along the north-south faults and huge lava blocks slid seawards along the rotational glide plane. And the goal today is to get to the old man of store, see where we're at when we get there, if I want to push on and camp somewhere I will. But you, the thing is, the old man of store is very busy with tourists, so you can't really, well, I won't really want to camp at it. So I either pull up and camp before I get there, or we bat through, which is what I'm hoping to do after a long day. We'll see how legs are feeling. Oh, it's quite sheltered in this low bit. This is a nice spot, isn't it? Like a nat there's a natural shelter. Get the walk back out of the way early doors while motivation and legs are still fresh. <laughs> size of this thing here we've got to get up up to the top of here and follow this around and it looks I mean that looks bad enough walking along here and up there but I've checked on the map and what you can't see is here and all along here is a valley that plummets right down so you've got to go before you go all the way up there you've got to go all the way down yay Medi
Ooh. I've seen some water down here. Looks like it was kind of flowing and then sort of followed it up and I can see uh, a little waterfall. Ah. Oh no, it's boggy. Yeah, there's a waterfall up here, so I'm gonna try and make my way to that. Fill up on water because I'm going all the way up over these ridges and it's just puddles of water, so this is perfect. Oh, here we go. We'll try and get to that bigger waterfall behind it. There's a few midges out, but I can handle a few just while I get the water done. I'm going to fill this. Fill me with the one probably take on board a load of water as well making use of this water source before we set off up onto the tops perfect filled my water bottles up drank a load of water as well and we're good to go this is Scotland no paths stopping off at rando waterfalls to get a drink boggy underfoot <laughs> tough walking Oh, glory be. Wonderful. Right. Onwards and upwards. Get it then. I'm trying my best to make a movie. And you can't even hack it. <laughs> okay, it's Woo. This is a full summit, so I've got up here and there's all that to go. Woo! Oh. So that's where we came from, beyond that ridge, all the way up here, down, up, down, up here. Thinking to myself, oh, this is a, this is a top bit, it's quite high. No, mate. There, look. Leg pump power. There's another false summit. Thought this was the top, but no. I got over the ridge and got to keep going. <laughs> and it ain't even not even eight o'clock yet. My campsite was right at the foot of that other bit where it comes down there. So I made good progress. You probably can't hear anything because it's so windy. Hopefully next time I check in, I will be at the top. just hit this bit and it's well, it's relatively calm compared to up there the, the high wind it makes me frantic it makes my brain frantic I can't like hold a thought together because it's so frantic and then you get down here and it's like oh take a moment to just gather myself and I just come back down off the top 
after um, tapping out on the trig point into this down bit and then back up again to the next blustery bit. I'm gonna stop for a coffee at some point. I think I'm gonna get up, do another ridge and then wait until I get to another uh, space like this where it's just, uh, it's nice and mellow. And then brew up. Someone's built another one of them little stone, stone bits there. I can imagine real handy mate, if, when the weather changes up here. And I don't know if you could pick up the audio on the top. If you keep seeing me do that, it's because I'm just making the screen, come on. Um, I don't know if you could pick up the audio of when I was up there, but I was just saying like, last week when it was forecast. So this is the ridge. I was sat on my campsite talking about covering my van in pace. And, uh, and I was mentioning the ridge and saying that the weather was going to be lightning, wind, rain, whilst I was due to be on the ridge. This is that ridge, so, and this is a, a nice day. It's sunny. On the forecast, it's nine mile an hour winds, 10 mile an hour winds down the bottom. But up here, as you've just seen, blowing a gale. So imagine if it was actual gale force down the bottom, what it'd be like up here. The wind would just be ripping through with the rain. I just, I mean, I don't have to justify myself, but I feel vindicated, mate. I feel like my decisions were the right one. Because not only did I have to get back and clean a piss-soaked van, I would have really struggled up here and it's not worth it on the people who love me and the mountain rescue. There you go. Here we go, here's another down and up. Just met a fellow hiker going, so I'm just in the, I'm in the, the calm bit. Just met a fellow hiker going the other way. He was saying to check the skies tonight for the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. I'll, uh, I'll set my camera up and try and bring them to you, hopefully. And another one. There's midges down here, but that means there's no wind. So, ah, oh, it's nice. We've been going a few hours and I'm gonna stop, get a coffee on, rest my legs, take the bag off for a bit. Taylor's of Arrogate coffee bags. Posh coffee in a bag. You stew it and drink it. No messing about, lightweight. I'll just have one of these a day. And with it, Trek bar and the yeah, organic carrot cake flapjack. And uh, and that'll do me, that's my breakfast. We have put that and a coffee. And then at lunchtime, I'll just have some biltong and maybe another bar and that's it. And then on an evening, I'll just have one of the camping meals. I'll be in a calorie deficit on these days, but I don't mind. I've got a bit of uh, <laughs> winter weight I can shift. Uh, and so that's me, that's a camping meal in itself. Just around kite. Right, that's boiled, let's go. Lovely little stop. Caffeinated and ready to go. It's such a beautiful ridge. I mean, if you were gonna come to Sky just to do this ridge, it'd be worth it. You start at one end all the way down and then you can get the bus back. It'd be a really good, uh, solid day hike. And I recommend it. Ooh. In good weather though. Look at that, the path's there. I don't know if, it, if people actually walk along there, but no. I'm just gonna stick back here a little bit. I can be very, very absent-minded at times. I'm just... It, zone off into my own world i'm like duh, 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 duh. oh i've gone wrong way or or whatever but there absent-mindedness <laughs> leads to logged offeredness just like duh, duh, duh. Whoa, see as late as i'm finding if i'm walking right on the very edge where this path is I'm at, i'll show you i'll show you come here all right, this is the path. Not even a path, it's just, you know, 
animals and humans and well yeah their path <laughs> so this is where it's sort of like a track and that is a sheer drop oh Ed Sheeran I can't do it it's giving me it's giving me the heebie jeebies Whew. because Ugh. I've got a problem with heights, I think. I know I do. I always have. I just have this thing, I can't help it. It is, I've talked about it before, but it's the call of the void. Like a little voice that says, go on, jump. And even now when I'm saying that, I'm like, just have to, I feel like I like, I wanna hug the ground or something. Because I don't trust my own brain. When I say go on jump, I feel like my brain's just going to be like, fuck, let's just go deal with this. <laughs> deal with this. And it's like a, like, I don't know, like a self-destructing thing, I think. Like, when I was younger, I would, I'd be on my bike and then I would shut my eyes and then, like, be going fast and then shut my eyes and see how long I could shut my eyes. And inside, and then, and then like, shock out of it and be like, what am I doing? like self-destructive thing I've got in me that I, he can't be trusted near sharp like that. He can't be trusted there. He might throw me off. <laughs> and not only that, I realized that I really was thinking about it. I was coming past the Kerrang over there when it was a bit touristy and they're all, all tourists were getting in my way. And I was like, it was the revert. It was sort of the same thing. The call of the void, but the call of to push someone else into the void. <laughs> when I was going along, people just stood having like a beautiful time, stood taking photos and I just thought, I could just go like that, yeesh, and everything changes. Everything in life changes if I just go, uh, that one little action of, uh, push this geezer off end with his big camera and that's it, innit? it? Everything changes and it's just that action and I'm like, oh, uh, get me away from everyone, get me away from myself. Complete Clempton. But anyway, here we are. Oh my God, look at this one. Woo! That's, how do I even get down there? Oh, down, just gotta go straight down. And then that is some, whew, some ridge. This is another one, but it's too steep to go straight down. So I'm going to have to go round, down, and then up. I'm blowing a little bit. But I just, I just keep looking off and being like, oh, so lucky to have these views and it's not all foggy. Look at that, that's where I came down off that thing there, look. Right, crack on up this vertical hill. I just seen two golden eagles there. That was a joy. It's a mirage, look. How deep is it? It is Shinai. Very tempted, like. Look at it, and I'm, I could just soothe myself in there. It's only Shinai, Shinai a twain. But it would be so good <laughs> to get in there. And do you know what I would do? If it weren't for the fact that there's there's two lasses that I spoke to and I passed them. If I get in there, they're gonna catch up and I'm just in there in in skivvies. Or in nothing. I can't go in nothing, that's madness. I would do if it was if I knew there wasn't people coming. I've been there. There's also someone, a person, who was stood on the ridge over there, and they're coming this way as well. But what I did was, it was a real nice photo of them. They were just stood right on the ridge, right over there. And I thought, I'll get a shot of this little pond with them stood on the thing, and I took it. So when I go past them, I'll be like, all right, mate, I got this of you. Let's airdrop it to you and they can have it. That's that. Hopefully you, they haven't fallen off. It is, mate. Look, they're clearly 
not right in Ed because they've come down onto this little bit where it's a sheer drop like oh my word <laughs> why haven't they just gone off at top what they're doing do I have to go that way look at that is dangerous mate So the guy I was talking about, because I was having a bit of a breakdown about you crossing that little bit. We got chatting, I've airdropped him the photo that I took. Oh, hey. And what's your name, oh hey? Jesse. Jesse, hazy Jesse. And um, Instagram handle. You can follow him because he's a nutcase. Provided, I mean, have you got an Instagram that's, it, yeah. it's not just like pictures of your food and... No, no, there's actual pictures on there. I mean, it's Jesse Casas. Damn! That's like an internet password, like a Wi-Fi password for you. Go give him a follow. See what he's up to. I don't even know what he's up to. So if it's mad shit, oh yeah, you can't do me for it. I've met some uh, some lovely people on this trail. Jesse being one of them, and uh, that's cool. He's the guy that I took the photo of. This photo. And I was thinking, oh. If he comes past, I'm on there just asking him if he wants to airdrop in. He was like, yeah, man. <laughs> so, that's good, in it? Go give him a follow. I'll leave his Instagram thing there. Tell him Hazy sent you. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Whew. Yes, man. <laughs> Done a little detour up to the store for these cracking views. Look at that. I'm burning, I think, my face is going. I've got hood up to start protect my neck. Will tan. Stunning, isn't it? So I've walked all the way up here. I've now got to go back down and around this ridge. Oh, come off it. No. I've even ticked, I've put one on and three have come off. Come on. There you go. I've intentionally gone for this long sleeve number because I just wanted to keep the sun off me. Instead of lathering myself up in chemicals, I just rather keep it off me. I've found the path now. We've joined some sort of a path. And we're going over there between that, that little gap. And I can already see people milling around because we're going to be heading to the Old Man of Star, which is the most iconic natural structure on the Isle of Skye, if not, like, it's a shout for it being one of the most iconic in the world, like, it's so popular and there's so many photos of it and it's one of them. But with all these things, you know, when you get something that's real beautiful and you're going to get, there's a big car park there. The last time I came to Sky, I couldn't even get parked there. It was so busy. There's bus stops, there's a cafe or a food truck. I've been thinking about dinosaurs, mate, and people aren't talking about dinosaurs enough. I had like a moment of clarity when I was like, wait a minute. Because this, so dinosaurs used to roam on the Isle of Skye, they've found um, footprints, they've found fossils, both herbivores and carnivores used to roam around here. And I was like, I just sat with it a little bit and really, because you always dis, you always think like, oh, people talk about dinosaurs and you're like, yeah, cool, dinosaurs, nice one, move on with another thought. But I actually sat and I thought about it and I was like, hold on a minute, for how mystical and magical the Isle of Skye is, to imagine like just pterodactyls flying around and Trianosaurus rex eating other, like hunting huge swathes of Diplodocus or whatever. I was like, oh my, that's blown my mind that. Then it's not just like a fairy tale or a book, that's a reality. There was no humans, just massive lizards. And who would have known, like, uh, the, the different, like, it could have been a jungle on here. Could have, all the different flora and fauna and fungus. 
no one knows like really we have good ideas but no one really knows like everything do they they don't know the color of things they don't know if like oh i don't know they don't know how intelligent things were there's just loads of stuff that might not have got trapped in the fossils that you don't know about and it's just it's absolutely mind-blowing and when i think about like some of the places that I've been through, the, the Kerrang or whatever it's called, the Kerrang, and this old man of store, to think of like dinosaurs roaming around it blows my mind. And it's been such a nice thought. And I'm gonna get into dinosaurs, I think. Just go, be a paleontologist, innit? Is that what that is? A dino nerd but really get into it, lean into it, whoa. Get myself a khaki shirt, get myself one of them hats with rim on it. Monocle maybe, uh, leather satchel, a little drinking, like I might start smoking gas. Who knows, anyway, <laughs> that's what I've been thinking about. Someone's put some golf balls here, and there's a there's a bit of a bit of a green bit over here that he's made with a flag. So he's smashing them over lock. <laughs> fair dues, mate. Fair dues. Don't know, mate. Over to that bit there. Downhill. Into wind. <sighs> oh, nine iron. Got horns on that lad. Could probably kick my ass. He's panting. Look, it's hey, I'm, I'm out. You win. I've just left the old man of store car park. There was a little coffee shop there. Got an iced coffee, pack of crisps, and a cake. Filled both my water bottles to brim with water. Emptied my rubbish bag. We're good to go. Decent little bridge. And there they are, look, you can't even tell, you wouldn't be. But the old man of store, from this angle, just looks like all the same cliff, and it's not until you get up there that it's... It all, uh, it all becomes all 3D and this. I imagine the first people to, to stumble on that. Like, obviously, now it's just riddled with people going up there in all sorts of clobber, mate full-on shoes and dresses and like shirts and ties and that <laughs> and what's ma the main mad thing that i find when i because i could pass loads of people is the amount of aftershave and perfume people are wearing you're walking past people on the hike and they just reek of like lynx africa or dupe or something <laughs> I mean, they're probably walking past me going, I can't believe he stinks of fucking B.O. <laughs> <No. laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's probably best to stink of Lynx Africa than... To be honest, I don't smell that bad. Two days in saddle. I don't actually smell. That's all going to change though, innit? So I hear a lot of people come down here and you just keep going along this path because that looks like the way you should go to the viewpoint and along but it's not there's like one two three four five there's six of these flags in here and you just follow these don't bother going down there and then you're off look you're basically into all this clobber with no path i think i set off at six and we're gonna i'll stop about six or seven so 12 13 hour shift look at this man beautiful i can't believe it i was all the way up there 
Ah, oh, I love it though. That's one of the best bits with long distance hiking is like obviously, yeah well, you can look forward and see these vast landscapes and miles of terrain. And then you're just sort of in your own world. You look back and you're on the other side of it. It's like, I don't know, it's like time traveling in a way. You just sort of, because I can remember how the exactly how I was feeling just when I was coming down that huge bit up there looking down at all this lot and now I'm here <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> like, oh, come on you mean you've just walked somewhere yeah sorry ah oh, there's an eagle gone absolutely lovely oh mate <laughs> oh, just like up there there's a lot of down and ups, man. So you don't really make much distance because you're busy going down and up. I'll keep you on just in case I stack a doodle do it down here. There's the old man of store. They've come down here, round here, up and down these bits. Uh, I'm just about to head up there. I feel like the sun's zapping me a little bit. I try and keep my hood up as much as I can to keep it off lugs at neck, but it's difficult now, I feel burnt. I feel like it's uh, cooking me a little bit. <sighs> Stop to talk to you, I had to procrastinate from going up this unit. <sighs> nothing, honestly, nothing. Calms my mind and silences my mind more than doing this. Because I'm just crunching out the miles. I'm too, it's too much hard work to be worried about stuff or thinking about other things other than dinosaurs, obviously. You're just like, right, get up this next bit. Right, which way am I going? Right, if I get there, it's just... I love it. It's perfect for my brain. And uh, I'll just keep doing it until the wheels fall off, mate. So there it is. Whether it's on YouTube or not, I'm doing this till the wheels fall off till legs fall off right i've jeeved myself up let's go made it up that of one across all this area <laughs> there we go look today has been brutal it's been brutal but i don't know maybe because i'm wanting it so much i'm forgetting like i'm just it just cracking on with it it doesn't feel like it's no big thing and the last long distance hike I did with Fern and her brother and uh, Daphne we were just doing short days like 10 miles or so and so I feel like I've got my leash off and I can just really clobber the miles in and I'm enjoying it I'm just gonna look how many miles I've done so have a look today what we on just shy of 17 mile <laughs> of this stuff up and down so we're gonna get a 20 miler in today and that's all this like difficult section done and we're we're away because tomorrow there's weather warnings for lightning and rain so I wouldn't have wanted to be up here so we might as well just bat on and see where we're at tomorrow procrastinating you'll notice now from now on I only sort of talk to you at the foot of these monstrosities because it's I'm like catch me breath Chat to crew, tackle it. And now I'm at that bit where I've got to tackle it. Look at this, man. You can just see where I've got to go. There's a sort of faint path all the way around and up and over here. The cooling mountain range in the background. What an absolutely beautiful backdrop. And what scenes. Look at this, mate. Beautiful. Onwards. On the road. I've been away for far too long But now I'm on my way back home I hear the west winds calling I'm my name They telling me to head your way Down your road and past your gates Keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found my home. Blowing. 
Oh, the rays of light coming through the clouds, it's heavenly. Doing well though, mate, look. Down there, see the houses, that's poor tree. So it's just over this. I mean, this one's big, it's got a trig, I can see a trig point on top of it, so you know it's a unit. That could make daunting. That legs are getting a little bit tired now. I was looking to belong when I already found my home. This whole section from the old manor store, I haven't seen a single person. It's just been me. So once you get past and out of the, uh, the popular areas, that's it. No one's coming down here for the Instagram photos either. And so it's been perfect, a bit of solitude. And this down here is poor tree. And on the guidebook, that's the end of day three. So this is day two. We're a day ahead, which is pretty good going considering we've just done, we've probably done about just over 20 miles today, but that terrain, it feels a lot more. Am I gonna, hold on, whoa! Nearly bog myrtled myself. Oh, look at it. The next available camp spot could be mine. I'll put my stats up later on, but we've done around just over 20 miles today. So that's it, that's enough. Ah, I can see there's a bit of flat grass down here. Hopefully it'll be nice because that's not a bad vista. What's this like anyway? That's oh, all right, you can handle that. I'll survive that, won't I? Right, lads? I'd survive that, I think. It's a bit of a hill. It looked flatter from up there but flatter my whip bread if I got. If I just got winged in along that bit there, I reckon I'll be, is that flat enough? Yeah, I reckon I'll be fine. Decision made, oh, I'm exposed on here. Hopefully wind doesn't go crazy. I get wigwam set up. There we are, look, top wigwammer. I've, I've raised it up a little bit. I got quite a bit of condensation last night, so I've raised it up a little bit. So the wind's just gonna fly in there. It's not gonna be too cold, hopefully, or too windy, hopefully. Trigger warning, foot content. <laughs> uh, damage report. These are all a little bit mullered. I've got a, there's a big old blister there, look. But that's what you get for putting miles in. Um, I'll just put a compede over it tomorrow, it'll be reaped. Shoes are out there drying a little bit. I'm too zapped to go out, mate. Even for sunset, because my face is burnt and I'm just like, oh. Staying here, shelter a little bit. For now, for tea this evening, it is vegetable chipotle chili with rice. And I'm looking forward to it. end of day two made good progress am I gonna do the sky trail in four days I don't nah surely not I want to put out do you know what it is it's because I'm really determined because when I messed up I was beating myself up so much 
I went back home and I was just beating myself up so much that I've got here and I'm like laser focused. So <laughs> possibly could do it in four days. There's an eagle up there, don't worry about that. Just a golden eagle, mate, that's all. I just came out to have a little look at the sunset and as you might agree, it's pretty beautiful. Let's head over to everyone's favorite time, map time. On the road, I've been away for far too long. But now I'm on my way back home. I hear the west winds calling. I'm a name. They're telling me to head your way. Down your road and past your gates. Keep your eyes on the horizon. I was looking to belong when I'd already found my home. Welcome to map time. This is where I woke up with an amazing sunrise over the Kerrang and over the sea. You can see by the contour lines here that it's steep, it's down. And I, and I kept saying there's a lot of downs and up, but there are a lot of downs and up. And if you look at the contours here, they're even tighter along here because that's the ridge, that's the drop off. So as I came along here, I looked this way and I could see this bit of water here and I thought well if I follow that up I might find something and I did I found a little waterfall filled my bottles up and trudged on back to the edge of the ridge followed that along up and up and up here there was a few false summits up and up here it was really windy up on this ridge along down here onto the other map down here look at that you can see how steep that is but it affords you such amazing views out to the sea and back where you came from and where you're going it was absolutely stunning this stretch out onto here and back keep going around this is where i met jesse we keep going around down here, I chose to take a little detour up here onto the top of the store to check out the views which were stunning. Double back on myself around here and then we head to the old man of store. There's quite a few people through here so I didn't do too much filming but the old man of store is absolutely stunning, it's otherworldly. You get to the old man of store car park, there's a toilet here, you can fill up your water um, dump your stuff in the bin and if you double back a little bit there's a food truck where you can get yourself a coffee and a bite to eat a little bit of road walking down here and then we cut off straight away down this track past this fella's house who was shelling golf balls over the lock and then here the temptation is to carry on out to this point but you don't there's a few flags here you just follow them and you're off there's not much path here it's quite boggy underfoot and not much path for about 3k and then you pick up a little path and again it was more of the same undulating underfoot plenty of ups and downs but stunning scenery i was just in my own world and enjoying this bit all the way along here it was a long day today pushed along heading towards Portree. so i was looking from about here i started to look for a campsite Drop down here, found the perfect little campsite, and that's where I am tonight. Whew. Right, thanks very much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification down there to be notified of the next upload, and I'll see you soon.